Hi, Sarah Warren here from Windsor Middle School, and I'm going to tell you about HyperDocs. Haven't heard of a HyperDoc? Well, it was created by these ladies, Lisa, Lisa Heifel, Kelly Hilton, and Sarah Landis. Um, they wrote a book about it, um, and it's basically a Google Doc with interactive elements. And um, the idea is to get you um, away from the sage in the stage mode of instruction. Um, really give the content to the students, let them explore and collaborate and create. Um, and you get to be the guide on the side, really helping them through the process, seeing where they are, getting constant um, information about where they are, and giving them constant feedback and encouragement. Um, here's a short video that walks you through the joys of HyperDocs. So pretty cool. So HyperDocs um, are really great tools and they um, really infuse pedagogy and technology together, which is my favorite thing about them. They brought me back to lesson planning, but with technology in mind. Um, what the, these three ladies did is they really sat down and looked at different pedagogical models and put together uh, a sort of blended model showing um, the steps that they feel work really well with technology in the classroom. Um, and so you can start your HyperDoc with an engage activity where you get your students interested in the topic, give them some time to explore the topic, and then explain to them exactly what they need. Um, some teachers will even let students um, try to explain to them first what's going on. Um, and then they apply their learning and they share it, they reflect on it. And then they have opportunities to extend their learning, go farther and deeper into the topic. Um, so this is set up as a HyperDoc cycle, um, but it's very flexible. You can use what you need for your lesson. You may put these steps in different order. You may not even use all of these steps. Um, you may not even use this model with HyperDocs. Um, HyperDocs can work with just about any pedagogical model. I like the five E's because I'm a science teacher. Um, I also like explore, explain, apply, because it's a nice, simple way to do a small, um, like one or two day lesson. Um, but there's other models available. They have a website called Teachers Give Teachers, but the address is actually hyperdocs.co. And at that website, there's all kinds of information, how to hyperdoc. But one great thing is there are templates in all of these models that you can download and use. And there's examples of how teachers have used them. Um, one thing to notice, this is actually a link to the HyperDocs website because this is a HyperDoc. Um, my slideshow here is designed as a HyperDoc. You can also do a HyperDoc in a slideshow. And they have, here are the links I was telling you about, the resources that you can download in all of those different models. And they even have some other ones that I don't haven't heard of before. So um, I'm going to change things up here a little bit because I don't want to just sit and tell you about HyperDocs. I think the best way to learn about a HyperDoc is as a student by doing a HyperDoc um, from the student perspective. So you get an idea of what your students will be doing and you can think about it um, in that way and as a teacher as we're so good at always doing. So as you go through the HyperDoc, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video to the HyperDoc. And if you really want to explore it, you need to go through and do the HyperDoc um, 
you're going to see lots of links. Make sure that you click on all the links. They're usually in a different color, often underlined like this one was. Click on those links. Um, if you're having trouble clicking on them, try putting it in presentation mode. Um, <clears throat> but click on those links, follow them where they go, and do what you're asked to do. And then come back to the HyperDoc. Um, it's called Starting with HyperDocs. Come back to the HyperDoc and um, see what to do next. Okay. Um, here is an example HyperDoc that somebody did. This one is in a Google Doc instead of a Google slideshow like Google presentation like I did. Um, this is a very short one that somebody did um, where they did an engage and explore and a reflect on hopes and dreams. And you can see all of the resources are on the left. There's some embedded videos. There's some visuals to look at. There's a link to a read aloud. Um, there's all kinds of things for them to consume, but then they're also asked to do things with it on the right and respond to what they're seeing. Um, and then that hyperdoc can be turned into the teacher. Um, it's even better when it's more collaborative, but this is a pretty short one. Um, notice that they didn't use all of the hyperdoc steps. They just used the ones that were appropriate at the time. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my hyperdoc and go to the next page and see what to do next. And um, what I'm going to do next is warn you <laughs> that there's kind of a rabbit hole ahead. Hyperdocs are amazing. They will transform your instruction, but they are a lot of work up front. Um, and even just doing a hyperdoc, it's a little easy to get sidetracked. Um, you can't just really give it to your students, at least in middle school. I can't give it to my students and walk away. Um, I have to be checking on them and seeing what they're doing and answering questions constantly. But I love that. It's way more interesting um, than just me standing up in front of the room and hoping they're paying attention um, to what I'm saying. So it's really a neat, neat thing. Um, but it is a lot of time and it is really easy to wander down a rabbit hole and realize that you've lost three or four hours. So <laughs> um, try to stay focused. Um, and then I'm going to put up the link to this HyperDoc. Um, you're going to start with an engage, um, and the engage looks like this. You're going to read some quotes, and then you're going to click on this link, and you're going to share your reaction on this document. And you'll see that some other teachers have already done this, and so your uh, input will be added in. You are now um, communicating and collaborating with other teachers. And then when you're done with that, you're going to come back to the HyperDoc and go on to the next slide. and. Just follow the instructions and do what it asks you to do. If you have any questions, feel free to email me um, or um, send me a comment and let me know. I'm happy to help. Um, I hope you like HyperDocs. Um, I will warn you that it's very easy, even after you've learned a lot about HyperDocs, to make a HyperDoc and put a lot of time and effort into it and make it really um, full of resources and then forget to make it um, hands-on and collaborative. <clears throat> so remember the big thing that makes something a hyperdoc, and you'll see this in the hyperdoc, but I just want you to look for it as you're going, is the four C's. Um, if students are creating, if they are collaborating, if they are critically thinking, and if they are communicating, then it's a hyperdoc, and then it's worth all the time and effort um, because your students are doing some amazing learning in the classroom. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions or feedback. I appreciate it. Thanks.